Hello, my lovely friends. Thanks for stopping by. So today I wanted to go through how to install Cyrillic on Mac. And it's not just like a simple installer like you might have on Windows. In this case, we need to install some prerequisites to help us. So we will be installing Homebrew and then installing Python. And then once we have that installed, we can install the Python version of Cyrillic onto Mac. So if that's of interest to you, then stick around. I'll walk you through how to do that. I plan on also having an accompanying blog post for this with the links and uh, some of the terminal commands where you can copy and paste stuff. I'll have a link to that down in the description. So also disclosure, I do have some affiliate links down below in the description. Uh, if you feel like you would like to support this channel and you plan on buying something, I have links down there, not only to my equipment, but also to just some general uh, Agena Astro and also to Amazon. And those uh, links are affiliate links. I do get a small percentage of the sale of whatever item you might buy, but it's of no additional cost to you. So if you'd like to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. But if you're not planning on buying something, another great way to support the channel is to give this video a like and a subscribe would be awesome. So thank you very much. My name is Doug and this is Astro AF. All right, so we'll just jump right in here. This won't take long. It's a three-step process. We'll start out with the Cyrillic documentation that's available on the Cyril.org website. And we're going to be interested in the installation section here. But to begin with, we need to have some prerequisites taken care of, and that's mainly the installation of Python. And the, in order to install Python on a Mac OS, one of the easiest ways to do that is through Homebrew. So if you don't already have Homebrew installed, I suggest that we go ahead and go through this installation process. So if you go to the Homebrew homepage, the, at the very top, they'll have an installation link here. This is a curl command, which you run in your terminal, and this will install the Homebrew software on your Mac OS machine through the execution of this link. So you'll want to copy that, Open up your terminal and paste that command into your terminal. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it now. All you'll need to do after pasting that in is hit enter, and the homebrew installation process will begin. If it prompts you for any yes or no answers along the way, then read what it's asking, but generally you'll just hit Y or yes and hit enter to proceed through the installation. Once Homebrew is installed, we can go and check to ensure that the installation was successful just simply by checking its version. So we can type brew, B-R-E-W, dash dash version, and hit enter. And you should get a Homebrew version back. And if you do see that, then it has been installed correctly. If not, Something went wrong with your installation and you'll need to go back and start over with that again. So now that we have Homebrew installed, we now need to install the Python dependency so we can run Cyrillic. So if we look over on the Homebrew documentation for Python, it has a lot of information here. And uh, for what we're doing, we don't really need any of this. All we really need to do is to type the command brew, br install Python. And this is going to install the latest version of Python for us on a machine. And then just hit enter. So I already had Python installed, but for your case, if you didn't, it would take you through that installation process and it only takes just a few seconds. It, it's not uh, a long installation at all. And then when that's done, you can type Python 3, because that's the name that it's given when you install through Homebrew, dash dash version. And you should get the version back then. 
from your Python installation. Now, if you don't get a version back and it says it can't find it, then there was a problem with your installation and you'll need to try that again. I believe Cyrillic requires at least Python version 3.7, so you'll need to make sure that you at least meet that requirement. Now, once Python is installed, then we're ready to go ahead and install Cyrillic. So going back over to the Cyrillic download section, we can get the latest version from their GitLab. So we'll go ahead and go over to their GitLab. And just at the very top in the download section, for our purposes, we're interested in the Python package, okay? The other packages are for like Linux, Windows, or from building from source, but we don't need any of those. We just want the Python package. And this is the most current version. So we'll want to click on that and download it. I think, no, so I will do that. And I'm going to download that. I have created a folder that I have in my astrophotography area of my file system. And I'm going to save that there. You could also just save it to downloads and copy it wherever you want. So once that's there, which it is now, we can reopen terminal. And you'll want to navigate into the directory where you've placed the file. And for me, it's in Cyrillic. Now, if you if you haven't done it before, you can change your directories on Mac by using the CD command. So just type CD for change directory, space. And then from terminal, you can drag your folder and drop it in terminal and it will populate the path for you. So there, instead of me having to type all that in. And just hit enter then. And then you'll see in your terminal that your current working directory is the one that you pasted in. So from here, we want to run or install uh, the, the Cyrillic. And we're going to do that with running this Python command. So if we take a look down here, we can use the pip command, which is the package manager for, for Python, to install Cyrillic for us, okay? We don't necessarily need to use sudo, which is super user or super doer, but we can use pip to just go ahead and do a pip install and then the name of the file that we just downloaded. This is an older version, so it you won't be copying this one. You're going to be using the name of the file that you just downloaded. So if we go back and we can pull up our folder where we did, I'm going to copy the name of this new file so that I can paste it into terminal. And then I'm going to type pip. And remember, we need to use pip3 because we're using Python 3 when installed from Homebrew. So you'll want to say pip3 install, and then paste in the name of the file that you just downloaded, and then hit enter. I got a Cyrillic is already installed, so it's detecting that I had already done it previously. At this point in time, Cyrillic is installed, and we can simply type Cyrillic into the terminal and hit enter and that launches Cyrillic for us. And now Cyrillic is installed and running. So using Cyrillic for your pre-processing is an entirely different video. And I believe I've got one I can link here that you can have a look at uh, where I did uh, pre-processing. So uh, please take a look up above here and uh, I will leave a link card. Uh, to another video where I talk about actually using Cyrillic with my sessions. So anyway, it, that was not too hard. And you, yeah, you can certainly do it even if you're not really comfortable in terminal. I'll give you the commands that you can use and you can 
pretty much just copy and paste all the way through the installation process. All right, so that was a quick, I, I told you it'd be quick, run through of installing Cyrillic on Mac. And uh, hopefully you find that useful. And certainly if you have any questions, you know, down in the, in the comments, you know, let me know. Uh, like I said, I'll have an accompanying blog article. It can have longer form discussion over there in comments. And uh, then I will be sure to have all of the links and uh, terminal commands uh, over there where they can be grabbed and uh, copied and pasted into your terminal to, um, to run through the installation. It shouldn't take too long. Honestly, uh, you'll probably have Cyril uh, up and running in uh, maybe you know 10 minutes or less. So it's, it's really pretty painless. And anyway, so thank you so much for stopping by. And if you uh, enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like. And uh, your subscription would be amazing. I hope I've earned it. So thank you very much. I'm Doug, and this is Astro AF.